What's up everyone? Good morning. Welcome to Max Public Land Hunting Outdoors. This is a hunting channel, an outdoor channel, a gardening channel, survival channel. Also check out my other channel. I'll post a link to it in the description. I've got Max Extreme River Fishing. Um, hit the subscribe button on both of them. But anyway, today we're going to talk about how to get rid of voles in your garden. Now a lot of people don't know what voles are. But voles, they look like a little mouse about that big. They eat plant matter. They, they, dig, they burrow on the ground, they'll eat the roots. If you see a plant, all of a sudden it does this. A lot of times, he's eating the roots from underground. Um, a lot of people confuse the holes, the vole holes look about that big. They confuse them with snakes. They think it's a snake hole. It's actually a vole hole. Not to say that a small snake won't crawl down in it, but they're vole holes, not snake holes. Um, but anyway, the quickest way to get rid of them is get a Victor mouse trap. Get the one with the, the the uh, yellow pan, it, it smells like cheese, but put a little bit of peanut butter right there. This is the, pretend this is the vole hole. You want to set it right there and put a bucket over it. Everybody's got a bucket laying around. Those are free. You need peanut butter to put on the pan and you need a trap. You can get these uh, Victor mouse traps at any hardware store, Walmart, anywhere. Two dollars or so for a two pack, four dollars or so for a four pack. So, mousetrap, bucket, peanut butter. I'm gonna show you how to go set these. Let's get busy. Let's get rid of some bowls. Okay, everyone, we're at my garden. I'm gonna show you what bowl holes looks like, and then we're gonna set the traps. Um, bowls like it dark. I didn't mention that earlier, but that's why you put the bucket over. You put the the trap pan right beside the hole with peanut butter on it. Then you flip the put the bucket on top of it. They like it dark. So um, during the day, you're not gonna catch many if you don't put a bucket out over it. Plus the bucket keeps little birds and things from getting caught in it that you don't want to catch. So anyway, let me show you what we got. That right there is a bowl hole. A better picture of one is right here. That's not in my garden, but it's just outside the garden, so I'm sure he's got the hole coming up right there. So anyway, that's what we're going to do. We're going to get busy. Okay, I've got a little bit of peanut butter right there. Got it set. Right, let's try this again. Right there. That's where you want. I take this bucket. And put it on top. And that's it on that one. Okay, we got a hole right there. We'll put that one right there. Put a bucket over it. Okay guys, I've got two set. See it right there. Let me see. One right there. Got two set. Hopefully we'll catch some bowls today and I'll show you how to get rid of them. Okay everybody, I showed you how to set these traps. Like I said, this is the number one best, most environmentally safe way to get rid of voles. The trap only costs one dollar. Everybody's got peanut butter. Everybody's got a free bucket. No chemicals. Um, you know, it just takes a little time. That's all it is. You know, you got to check the traps, reset them, yada, 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 whatever. But it's the most environmentally safe, most economical way to get rid of voles. You're not targeting other animals. There's a bucket over it. So a little bird's not going to land on it, peck on that plate and get killed. Um, but anyway, I had them set overnight. I set two traps I showed you in the beginning of the video. Caught one out of two, which isn't too bad. I'm gonna set them again. Um, probably take a couple of days and I'll clear them out of my garden. Uh, but anyway, do me a favor, guys. Thanks for watching. And like I said, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you next time. Woo!